What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony McLemore and in this video, I wanna do a little bit of an update on the Apple Card that I got about two years ago because two years ago, I made a video right here on this channel and I said that this card absolutely sucks. And I think I made a lot of valid points in that video, but I still hung on to this card for the last two years and have been using it almost as my primary card. So I thought it was about time to make an updated video on the Apple Card just to see if it still sucked. If you think you're gonna find any kind of value in this video, make sure you tap that like button for your boy and also as a treat for you clicking onto this video if you go down to the description and sign up to the public app you'll get a free stock just for signing up go take advantage of that free money and let's talk about this apple card so after two years of having an apple card one of the first things that i really want to discuss is why anyone would choose it in the first place and to be honest the apple card doesn't have a lot of attractive features that will put it above any other card i think one of the main reasons that i was attracted to it was its integration into the iphone itself but other than that as i'm going to talk about in this video the cashback isn't all that great it doesn't have any travel rewards i don't think it offers anything special on top of being a credit card however it does in a sense symbolize everything that apple is itself it is just a simple well thought out card that is very easy to use and very technologically friendly i can use the apple card with my watch with my phone and most of the time if i know that a store has apple pay i don't even bother bringing in my wallet anymore so before i even get deep into the features of the apple card i think that one of the reasons why someone should consider it is if they are a beginner and this is their first credit card and also if they just want an easy aesthetic card to use. So if you're looking for high credit limits or if you're looking for cards that have a whole bunch of features, then you may wanna look elsewhere besides the Apple Card. Okay, but now let's talk about the main benefits of this Apple Card. And one of the reasons that I even considered it in the first place was for its cashback options. Now with the Apple Card, they offered a tier 3%, 2%, and 1% cashback system. And in order to qualify for the 3% cashback, you have to pay with Apple Pay at stores like Uber, Nike, and Apple itself. And honestly, for me, I didn't do a lot of shopping at those three stores but you can also get three percent cash back if you pay with apple pay at an exxon mobile gas station as well now this has actually been a bigger benefit for me than i initially thought but as i'll talk about later in this video it is sometimes hard to find exxon stations that will actually accept apple pay and then as we move down to their two percent cash back option you can get this option if you use apple pay at any other store besides the three or four that i just mentioned so just by scanning your phone instead of swiping the physical card you can get an extra one percent cash back and then in in order to get the 1% cash back, that is basically on any other purchases that you use your physical card for. So as long as you're swiping the Apple card, you should be getting some cash back. And what I have found a little bit more appealing with the cash back option from the Apple card rather than some of the other cards are that it allows you to get your cash back a lot quicker than some of my other cards. So with my Chase Freedom Unlimited card, you have to wait 30 days past the statement to settle to get your cash back. But with the Apple card, I'm pretty sure they calculate it on a daily or a weekly basis. So if you make a purchase today, you probably will get the cash back from that purchase about three or four days from today. This is definitely the fastest cashback I've ever seen, but as I'll talk about a little bit later, it is sometimes hard to find that Apple Pay scanner in order to qualify for the best cashback option. But let's get into the infamous Apple Pay, a feature that I thought two years ago would be a lot more robust by now. And unsurprisingly, it is still pretty hard to find places that will accept Apple Pay as a sole form of measurement. Now, I don't think that this is Apple's fault because most of the time when a store has an updated cash register or a credit card scanner machine it will accept apple pay i'll give it that and most updated gas stations will accept apple pay as well however there are a lot, and I mean a lot of stores that have not invested in that technological advancement. So most of the time when I go into a store I haven't been before, I would say nine times out of 10, they won't accept Apple Pay, or if their machine does, it may not go through the first couple of times. And with that, one of the stores I shop at the most is Walmart. And Walmart has its own Walmart Pay system, and it refuses to add Apple Pay for some odd reason. And honestly, I wish that it would just go ahead and add Apple Pay so that I can stop paying through the Walmart app. Now I know Target accepts Apple Pay, but your boy be trying to shop on a budget, so I'm sticking with Walmart. So from two years ago to today, I would say that Apple Pay still isn't all that robust. However, I am seeing a few more fast food chains add the option to pay with Apple Pay, but it still isn't as universal as I would expect Apple to like it to be. However, if you are okay with swiping your actual card, then by all means, you won't have a problem using the Apple Card. Personally, I like how pristine the card looks. It just looks like a very pretty credit card. So if I ever go into a store where I actually have to put the card into the machine, I'll just whip out my plastic Chase Freedom Unlimited card and leave the metal Apple Card in the wallet. I don't 
don't know why I want to keep it looking so good, but I think I've only actually inserted it into a machine probably one or two times in the last two years. So the availability of Apple Pay is something that you want to keep in mind if you're considering getting an Apple card, because yes, while you may be able to use it in some places, it's definitely not a universal thing yet. However, let's move on and talk about the integration of the Apple card with your actual Apple iPhone. And this card by far has the best integration than any other credit card that I've ever seen. And it's probably because the person that made the card actually made your cell phone. And honestly, everything about the app is more aesthetically pleasing than every single other credit card I have. And I don't even think the Apple card is my favorite credit card. And I'm still saying that about it because the wallet app is just that aesthetic. From the way they show you how you can make payments to avoid interest to how the card changes colors if you make purchases in different categories, all of this really makes the Apple card really unique. And honestly, it makes it fun to use. And not even mentioning the Apple card itself is made of titanium and it just has a really nice premium heavy feel to it so that you feel a little bit more fancy when you give to someone compared to some of my other credit cards this thing has to be at least three to four times as heavy and it looks so cool as it only has your name on the front and if we flip over to the back there's no identifying features on the back as well honestly it is pretty cool so if you're not really bogged down about the amount of reward points you can earn or travel features or any other thing and you just want a seamless card that is easy to use and easy to pay and easy to see how much interest you're paying the integration of the Apple card into the Apple iPhone really does make that appealing. Now, if you do have an Android, I wouldn't say that the Apple card would be all that appealing to you, especially in the integration aspect, because it is a little bit more difficult to check your balance on a desktop computer. I just found out how to do this recently, so that may be one reason to avoid it if you don't actually have an iPhone. But let's get into the last attractive feature of the Apple card that I'm going to discuss in this video. And that feature is something I haven't seen on any other credit card, and that would be the family account sharing feature. Now, with most other credit cards, if you want to add your spouse to a credit card that you already had you can add them as an authorized user and you both will be able to be on one account it's a good system you both be able to share one credit limit however it is something about it that doesn't seem quite all that seamless but with the apple family account sharing feature what me and my wife was able to do was combine two separate apple cards into one account and now we're able to enjoy a higher credit limit on that card and also are able to monitor each other's purchases which is okay if you don't mind your spouse seeing that but what i like about this is that when we combine accounts with each other it wasn't like just adding an authorized user because when you usually add an authorized user you keep the same credit limit with an extra person added but with the apple card we were actually able to combine the credit limits and then increase that by about one thousand dollars on top of that in order to enjoy a boost to both of our credit scores simply by sharing an account now me and my spouse are married so having separate credit scores isn't really a big deal but just the thought that went into family account sharing really is attractive if you're trying to give a credit card to your children if you're trying to monitor purchases i think along with a lot of the other features of the Apple credit card, this is an extremely attractive feature. But with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you found any kind of value in this video, or if you think you're gonna go get the Apple card for yourself, then drop a like on this video as it really does help the channel out. If you watch all the way into the end of this video, then go down to the description and get that free stock from the public app as they are giving away free money. You don't even have to deposit anything, just claim your free money and go. However, I hope I was able to provide some kind of value or entertainment in this video, and I'll see you in the next one, guys.